Step two of pulling down the Google Maps property information is to go into Globiflow and set up the uh, the actions of the flow. So the first thing we want to do is go to the app that you're in or the the workspace. In this case, I'm using Test. And we'll scroll down over here right, and refresh that workspace. Make sure we have all the new fields. Go into the Leads app and we're going to add a new flow. So add new flow. We'll do this on item created. We do this on the created because we want to pull this information in as soon as the record is added. You could probably create one for an update flow just in case you want to change the address so you don't have to run this manually somehow. But in this case we're just going to do it on the add. So this is the add. No filters because we want to do this on all records. Okay, so for, we want to create our action now. So the action we're going to create is called, let's slide down here. It's this one, the remote post and get, the very last one. So we'll click on that, close it. And what this is doing is it's going to call out to this web address. And when you do a, an API, what you do is you call it to a web address and then it runs some stuff and then it brings back, sends you some information based off the information that you sent them. So we're going to send the Google API map, maps API an address and then they're going to send back all the full address information. So this URL, we're going to, first let's create a variable name, we'll call this just JSON, and it's going to be a get, because we're getting information from them. And the address we're going to use, I'll cut and paste it from a file I have, is https colon forward slash forward slash maps dot google apis dot com forward slash maps forward slash API forward slash geo code forward slash json now it's almost set the only thing you have to do is make sure we pass in the information now to do this you go down to the get parameters get params and the way this is set up is the first part of this uh, this line is what you're gonna pass like the address and you say equals and now we pass the address information so here we are doing lead address from our podio so we're saying we are passing the address and here is the address and then that's it very simple we'll give it a name call it pull google maps info and save. So now this should be good. Now I did forget something. So let's go back in here. I got ahead of myself a little bit. So now it pulls in the information from Google and it puts it into this variable. Now to get into Podio you have to do an update item. Let's see what find that is. Update item. We'll select the field. We're going to update the address JSON, the value, and we're going to say the variable JSON. The information we got from this remote post or get, which is the API call, and we're putting it into the address JSON field in Podio in our leads app. And now we can save that. And now I'll demonstrate how this works. So we'll do back to Podio. We have lead there. We'll add a new lead. We can go 605 Brook Hollow Drive, Whippany, New Jersey. We'll pick that one. So there you go. And now this. Globiflow will be triggered off when I save, and then you'll see this information get populated. We'll say save. Give it a second, and now here you go. 
Now this is a JSON format file that you get from Google with all the address information. You can see the, the street number, the route, which is the, the road that we're on, Brook Hollow, the town, the neighborhood, Whippany. This is actually a subsection of a town because the locality here is actually the township and Whippany is with a neighborhood within the township. In some areas, you won't have a neighborhood, so you won't get this information. And if it does, then you get it. You can see that there's the county information here, which is uh, pretty important. That's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. Uh, the state, this is administrative area level one, another name for state. And you can get the short version or the long version. You get the country, short version, long version. And you can also get the postal code and the postal code suffix, which is the zip plus four, the plus four part, 2501. And you can get the formatted address, which is the full address that you get, which is, which is nice to have if you need it. And you also get the longitude and latitude, which is uh, great for putting a whole bunch of addresses into a map and pinpointing it real quick. It's geocoding pretty much. And there's some other information here that I haven't really explored but it looks like it has to do with uh, the angle of the house that you get from a Google image and the Google Maps. Like the saying from the rooftop straight down and it's from the southwest. That's what they're getting. I haven't figured it out yet but so what it is. I don't know what this place ID is. Maybe it's just Google's ID for the 605 Brook Hollow Drive and status okay means that everything came back all right. So now this is all the information you have. It's not in such a great format and you can't really use it outside of here. So in the next video I am going to show you how to pull out each individual piece and put it into a separate Podio field so you can then later use it for stuff like mailing or grouping, sorting, do reports. I use it to make sure I pull out the county so I can then map it to a partner that I have so they can wholesale the property without me doing anything. So I'll show you that in the next video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, send me an email, or leave a comment below. Thank you.